so my dear friends uh, this is my first live lecture in this group and I am coming with a complete book list for the preparation of CSS and PMS as you see in the topic uh, there are no quick fixes no shortcuts just having this uh, uh, list of the books doesn't mean that it will be a guarantee and then you will be able to uh, qualify the exam or you will get your final allocation always I recommend uh, multiple sources uh, the topic in the syllabus that is the touchstone when you see the topic in the syllabus you have to prepare the topic multi-dimensionally uh, from different sources including Google Wikipedia Encyclopedia Britannica and other encyclopedias so the target is the topic and five to ten years uh, previous year papers that is the touchstone touchstone means that is the standard when you see the topic in the syllabus first recognize the topic then define the topic then describe the topic in a multifaceted way do you recognize this topic for example somebody tells you photosynthesis do you recognize this word its meaning and does it bring some concept in your mind so if it brings a concept in your mind it means that you recognize the topic next step is can you define this topic define means that what are the limits of this topic where from this topic starts and where this topic ends that is called definition so what is the definition of photosynthesis do you know the definition and then next step is description can you describe that topic in detail multi-dimensionally if you can do it so your work is done now where from you prepare it that is open from the books given in the list this is uh, not final list we will be keeping uh, updating it I am thankful to the team who is working with me and uh, we will be updating it especially Tabinda Ali and uh, other people they will be also contributing if you know a better book which is uh, you consider it it's a better book than the one recommended so you can also uh, tell us that book with reasons and if you don't like a book uh, in the given list so you can also criticize that this book is not a good one and I have another better option for that so this way we will be sharing our information because there are so many uh, optional subjects so uh, I am not master of all these subjects uh, neither Tabinda Ali nor, nor other uh, friends so if you have your own individual experiences so you may keep uh, keep this in mind that you can contribute you can also add and this is not the final <coughs> list so the message is you recognize the topic you define you describe then you give all the details uh, by covering the topic multi-dimensionally and being a critical thinker you criticize the topic you make it part of your personality and when tomorrow you are in examination hall so you don't have problem of memory because it is already part of your personality for example preparing tea is part of your personality if somebody asks you do you know how to prepare tea and you say yes I know so you say yes without any doubt in a definite uh, uh, tone so this was a short message just sharing with you this list the list is not final it can be updated with your contribution and <clears throat> this is not a shortcut just having this list and having these books you will qualify or you will be allocated so please no quick fixes this is CSS PMS and other exams that is basically the test of your personality that is the test of your understanding understanding is the fourth stage we get data information and data can be primary and secondary data information knowledge understanding and the last stage that is wisdom so wisdom you may get after uh, the examination before examination it is quite difficult to be wise but still uh, the stage of understanding the difference between understanding and knowledge is that knowledge is the organized <coughs> information systematic collection of information while uh, 
understanding is its application the way you want that is called understanding that you understand the topic you have knowledge of the topic is one thing and you understand the topic that is another thing you have knowledge means that you recognize the topic you understand the topic means that without any book without any notes if somebody ask you in writing or speaking so you can describe their topic and you have full understanding means that you can cover it from all the dimensions thank you very much now i'll be online uh, on my live on my timeline see you there